Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. It's a cold, rainy, snowy night, and we are going to show you how to make the quickest and easiest dinner for those crazy, busy mom days. Now, this is my potato soup recipe, but we've made it bigger, badder, and better. Come along as I show you how. All right, guys, we're gonna fly through this video because I've got four hungry men waiting for it to wrap up so they can dig in. Get your crock pots ready, girls. Get out the goodies you have in the freezer and in the pantry. It's gonna be a whip and a snap and a nay-nay, and you're gonna have a delicious dinner tonight. Let's walk through the steps. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, ladies, let's get rocking. Guys, you too, because this is gonna become one of your favorites, I promise. I wanna make my cooking videos a little more streamlined and a little bit easier for you to follow. So take a look at what we're doing right here. Okay, first things first, let me show you what you're gonna need. This is kind of a quick overview in terms of what you're gonna be needing. You have your basic items. You have your cream cheese. That's your secret recipe item right there. Listen to me, we're coming back to that. Uh, you also have your hash browns, your salt and pepper, all of these things and more. Now, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna have an onion on hand. Most of us keep those on hand, unless you're like me and somehow you forgot to get that. And so you run to the Piggly Wiggly that morning and you grab several onions because somehow you just didn't have onions in the pantry. Why? I don't know. Anyway, pajamas work. Take half an onion, cut it up, dice it. I like to make it really thin in the chopper. You can see what I'm doing right there. Just making it real thin and in fine pieces. You're then going to place those items into the onion, the chopped onion, into the crock pot. You can get away without the onion, but frankly, that's where the flavor is. A lot of it is in that finely chopped onion. Then you're gonna have two browns of, ha two bags. You're gonna have two bags of hash browns. Now, in my other videos, there's only been one. This time, we're doubling up the recipe because I'm gonna tell you what I used to do isn't enough. We wanna be able to eat at least twice and we wanna have leftovers for the next day. So you want two bags of hash browns, okay? If you wanna add the pepper and the onion in that, that's up to you, I don't. You're gonna put that all cozy-like into the crock pot, okay? Now the next thing you're gonna add is your chicken broth. Chicken broth. Boop, boop, boop. Now, you're gonna want to really double up on that because again, we're making a double batch of the soup. These are 32 ounces. You can use your canned goods or you can go grab it at the store, but I'm approximately using 32 ounces times two. That's a lot of liquid, y'all, so be ready for that. Now, your next secret item is going to be cream of mushroom. I originally use cream of chicken. Some people do, you can do that, you can mix them, but I like it better with cream of mushroom. Original recipe calls for one can. I'm gonna tell you right now, I doubled it for this recipe. So you're gonna see me put in one, but actually in the end, I ended up using two because it's such a big soup. You're gonna want a lot of flavor and zest in there and the cream of mushroom is what does that. Of course, you're gonna add salt and pepper. So just sprinkle in there as you want to. You may add some more later, trust me, because flavor is what you need in that. And that's where the main, well, along with the onion, you're gonna have salt and pepper really giving you a lot of flavor there. You're gonna mix all of that up, okay? Mix a, mix a, mix a, just like on Blue's Clues, okay? If you don't think you have enough water because you're gonna be gone for a while and you don't want anything to scorch or whatnot, add a little bit of water to it. It's okay, it's all gonna cook up. All right, now we're getting to the good stuff. Cream cheese. This is what is going to make your potato soup 
thick and creamy and delicious. Now, if you wanna go less fat, no fat, where's the fat, that's your business, but I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna lose a lot of flavor if you do that. This is a, a quick meal and a splurge, so I'm telling you to go with the full bar of cream cheese. Now, what I used to do was put it in about an hour before we ate. I noticed that if I put it in small chunks, divide it up and get your spoon and just whip it up and five or six uh, dollops or whatnot and plop it in there, let that cook with it all day. It seems to melt better and evenly flow throughout the soup. So that is what you're gonna see. Put it in there from the beginning. Okay, all you're gonna do is mix all these items up. Just mix them up. You're gonna put the lid on and you're simply going to cook this on high for about six hours. So you, if you are looking at putting this on around noon, like I have in this video, you're gonna be eating around six o'clock, seven o'clock in the evening, which works for most folks. It just depends on what you're looking for. If you want a slower cook because you're gonna be gone longer, I would put it on low. So if it's 9 a.m. and you wanna eat around six or five or six, maybe put it on low. So what I did at first is I put it on high, let it cook on high until literally about an hour before, mixed it up again, stirred it, make sure everything looked good, add a little bit more salt and pepper, and that's where I added that extra can of cream of mushroom. And that is where uh, I literally came to the point where I said, we're ready, put it on low, dinner is gonna be served very shortly. All right, guys, we're ready to roll with a delicious supper. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this idea in terms of how I've made the video helps you. You can see it, we're gonna talk you through it, get you down to business so you can cook right along. I'm telling you, I've got the men lined up over here. Let me know what you think, try it out. If you need to adjust a few things, that's okay. Like I say, it's your world. You do what works best for you. We're about to eat. We'll see you on the next video.